Greetings from the shadow of the Eiffel Tower here in Paris, France. Legend of Molly coming into you from Fete and Nunu, which is this big carnival right here. I've never been to like a European fun fair, so I'm pretty excited. Normally they're supposed to have like crazier rides and stuff than we have in America. So I'm gonna go check out all the rides at the fair. See what kind of good time we can come up with. All right, let's start off the tour here. They've got a Tagata, which I believe are outlawed in America. But uh, they're kind of, they can be really, really crazy, or they can be not crazy depending on how they're operated. But there's no restraint, and you just got to try to hold on or else you'll fall off. And that guy goes down. Now it's going to start spinning fast. I don't know why. I've never watched this personal one before. But uh, it looks like it's spinning faster. And now it's moving wonky. What's that? It's quite the ride. I love that there's like no seatbelts or anything. But just hang on. So I came back later and there's also a fire effect in Kudo. Check this thing out, it's like a pirate ship, but there's people standing in cages. Weird. So while it's cool that you stand in the cages, uh, definitely does not seem to be one of the more thrilling pirate ship style attractions. You'll smoke, I mean that's a plus, but uh, standing in the cage will be a blast. So guys, I take back what I said, the cages are nuts. Uh, we just got out of one of them, and Molly held on just in a corner, and I was sliding, jumping around, I hit my head on the ceiling a couple times, uh, it's higher up and the floor is tilted so you could you could jump slide it doesn't matter you're trapped in a cage it is really wild so here is the dark ride haunted house train phantom and it, it, you know normally these things are really really terrible but this one actually it was better than most uh, there's actually a live actor in there with a chainsaw uh, some lasers some strobe light stuff it wasn't bad and most of them are terrible and there's the guy you, you can see on a camera that is really cool that you can watch other people just get scared on the tv i'm not sure what i'm having more fun doing either watching the tagata or hanging out here with a beer outside of the uh the ghost house and waiting for chainsaw chucky to scare people Crazy stairs. A little wilder than you see an American Funhouse be. I just arrived with an interesting name. The Satan Sulfur. Here, uh, I think it's a house break dance. They're pretty fun rides. These rides are some of my favorite rides at the fair. This one's called Bad Trip. But uh, any kind of these inverted spinning frisbees. And I love how they have like the live guy. On the, uh, on the DJ group, like talking to one of the people. Now, I have no idea what he's saying, but it, it, it adds to the fun of the ride. This section, it said just a whole bunch of trampolines. So far, the flume ride is my favorite.
Uh, there's like giant alligator heads. King Kong's here. There's a hippopotamus. This is the best so far. All right, waiting for splashdown here with the plume. Almost there. Almost there. You gotta go past King Kong. And here comes splashdown. That, that, there's some splash down there. There really is. So I'm bummed this isn't running because uh, this is different and weird looking. It's like go-karts. Interesting. The fair has one adult sized roller coaster. A pretty standard traveling fair kind of roller coaster. But there's still a good time. Another fair ride that I would say is new to me. It's like a little kid's car ride. But it looks like it's got like multiple ways they could go. Like you could go up or down and interesting. And it's got a cute elephant, so that's always a plus. The fair has one of these airbag jump things, which don't look scary from the ground, but they are uh, pretty terrifying once you get on them. I've done it before and I, uh, I, I don't really care for it very much. That's not how you're supposed to jump on these things, but I'm sure it's okay. Fun shot here, Eiffel Tower and Drop Tower. This is the Delta Flyer, and it's uh, moving pretty good. But now he's hitting the fence, that makes sense. As of now, it doesn't appear to do a whole lot. I'm hoping it does more than this. So we've been watching for like two minutes. I don't think this thing does anything else. I think this might be it. Never mind about uh, four minutes later, they've got really long cycles here. It started doing something else. Now it looks more fun. At some point, the ride goes backwards. I'm pretty sure this ride cycle has lasted like seven minutes. Bumper cars, normal carnival classic. A weird thing about a lot of the rides here at the fair, there's like no fences. You can just wander right into the bumper cars and get hit by one, I guess. The fair also has a very large inflatable section, like tons and tons of inflatables. Big fun slide, a little larger than normal, not like some one of those mega ones, but bigger than your average. Over here you got a pretty average swing ride. This is weird on a couple levels. First of all, they've got like bumper cars with motorcycles and ATVs. And then there's just like one kid riding it around in a circle. Interesting kids he ride here. It's uh, boats and hoverboards or hover hovercrafts, spaceships. Yeah, that's definitely like a spaceship right there. Pretty adorable kids ride here. It has some like limited scenery, but uh, I'm guessing that's like a talking tree in the middle. Yeah, and SpongeBob in the tunnel. And SpongeBob and pals. <laughs> and a buffalo. A couple more kids rides over here. You got a wacky worm filled with uh, scenes from it, uh, Bugs Life. And then behind me, now this is a cute kids ride. All sorts of cars and trains and fun on a little course. I'm pretty sure those guys work at the fair. And this is where we're going to wrap up our video from the fair. Uh, Molly, what did you think of the festival? Um, a little different than America festival with those rides that are very unsafe. I wouldn't say, I, I only got minorly injured. Mildly, yes. Um, man, I had, a, I had a blast. It's kind of what I was looking for. Like, I wanted the crazy stuff. I wanted the Tagata. I wanted the pirate ship where you hang out in the cage and might have gotten a concussion. <laughs> All that kind of stuff made it really fun for me. So. Uh, I'd recommend it. This fair does run until early October here in Paris, France. Uh, we went on opening night and it was some sort of like a charity promotion. So we got all the rides for 20 bucks along with our admission. I don't know how much it is during the rest of the year, but uh, it's a fun time. And uh, go check it out.